looks pretty snowy there. I was going to say, it looks snowy and cold in New Hampshire. Sure Not does. too bad around here. Not yeah. here. And we have uh, one of our nasty inversion, but uh, it's not like one of those December or January inversions. Not Looks like we'll see a little bit more sunshine. Hey, we had some nasty weather in New Orleans last year, but that's not the case this year. It's Mardi Gras time. Of course, that's on Tuesday, 52 degrees for the high. It was raining last year. This time, sunny, breezy, and cool. That's for Tuesday. And looking ahead, Valentine's Day just around the corner. This is a heads up for you guys, mainly. Mostly cloudy skies, high of 50 on Valentine's Day on the 14th. Here's our weather headlines, some inversion conditions. Much of this week will be having a ridge of high pressure locked right over us, and that will give us these inversion conditions, a stagnant weather pattern. That means a layer of smog over the valley. We'll be watching our air quality too. I wouldn't be surprised if we start dipping into the yellow and maybe even the orange. Some warm mountain temps, in fact, uh, Mountain temps will be comparable to what we'll have here in the valley in many instances. An inversion is uh, a layer of warm air capping cold air in the valley locations. Normally our temperature decreases with height. That's what we call the lapse rate. But uh, during an inversion, it actually increases up to a point in the atmosphere. Here is our dense fog advisory in effect for eastern Idaho. That's about the only location that's seeing any kind of visibility issues at all this morning. So far, 32 degrees. We have winds at 8 miles per hour. And here's a look at some temperatures. Upper 20s to around the freezing mark. Most locations here in the valley. Single digits for some of our mountain locations. And teens for Baker City and McCall. As far as visibility, so far no problems. We do have a chance of some patchy fog for the western of the valley. Eastern Idaho seeing some reduced visibility down to a mile in Idaho Falls and Pocatello. I don't think it's uh, especially thick as far as the fog because they still have one mile visibility. 47 degrees for our high and our low 32. Both those five degrees above normal for this Monday, February the 8th. Here's our weather scenario. Big H locked over us. A giant high building in and it's not going anywhere soon. We don't have any uh, real big storm systems to dislodge that and move it on its way. So dry all the way through Friday. Here's our Futurecast computer model about the only cloud cover we're going to see. Some high clouds moving in on Wednesday. Other than that, pretty much cloud free over the next few days. Here's our regional forecast looking at some areas of fog, otherwise mostly sunny skies for Twin Falls, high of 42. Areas of dense freezing fog possible this morning for Sun Valley, otherwise sunny. For the Long Valley in McCall and Cascade, sunny conditions. Patchy fog possible for the western end of the valley. So far, we haven't seen any. Otherwise, sunny skies, daytime highs in the mid 40s. And for Boise, sunny skies with a high near 47. Our extended forecast calls for not much change over the next couple days, sunny and 47. Then some fog, a little bit more cloud cover for Wednesday. Dry all the way through Friday. Slight chance of showers, though, on Saturday. Only a slight chance. And then uh, Sunday back to some fairly mild temperatures with a high near 50 degrees. That's about 8 degrees above normal. That's a little weather.